Greetings and welcome back to another another episode of Cooking in Conversation. I'm your host, Home Chef Nick, and I have a talented audience for you, for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, please introduce yourselves. I'm Mark. Hello. I'm Michelle. I'm Cece. I'm Michelle, your favorite licensed massage therapist. <laughs> Um, me. Yes. Yes, yes. Well, since you're advertising, where do we find you at? You can find me at www.cateredtoyou.org. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, remember that, cateredtoyou.org. Yeah. Now, we have a special today, because we're going to do an Italian menu, except for one thing, though. I'm doing pink pineapple mm. with tahini on it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we're going to do Italian green beans. And I got these from the Amish market. So we're gonna do a green beans. We're gonna do a fruity de mar, which means fruit of the sea. Okay. 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 Sounds delicious. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, uh oh. Oh, she said a uh, cold word for the day. The cold word for the day is good. So everybody gotta take a drink. Everybody. everybody. Okay. Yeah. That's supposed to be the person oh, who no. said the word. Uh, I thought it was the person who. Team Ever, man. Team Ever, see? Uh -oh. Remember see? delicious. Remember oh delicious. Do Ladies that. and gentlemen in, our, in the foodie land, we have a code word for today. It is the word good. So, as the code word is said, everybody takes a drink. Even the chef. <laughs> you, said, you said it again. No, 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 no. I was saying to the audience, though. Oh, okay. but you said it. But you, you, you just just said, said the G word. Okay, well, here, here we go. Then. Excuse okay, me. so we all got a drink. There we go. And then we have a nice Italian sauce that I made. Mm -hmm. Okay, the sauce is in. Now forgive me if I screw it up. How do I say it? Uh, I don't want to say it the wrong way. Cause I'm not Italian. We wouldn't. We wouldn't know. Right. It's Italian I, sauce. That's all we need to know. <laughs> is it tomato based? It's a tomato based sauce mm -hmm. with white wine in the uh, tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. this one. It's that one, and it's a part of, part of this one as well, but it's different. Because the two different sauces. One of the sauces actually has um, a seafood stock in it as well. Mm -hmm. So, and everything in the sauces is all fresh. Mm -hmm. So we got fresh basil, we have fresh thyme, fresh oregano, and I, you know, I chopped everything up in fresh garlic and whatnot. Like, see right here, mm -hmm. all your fresh garlic that I chopped up. Mm -hmm. wow. see? Okay. And you gonna have red tomato, uh, red onions right here as well. Mm -hmm. See. Mm -hmm. And the food land, there we go. So I chopped that up, and it's got a very, very strong, potent smell. And mushrooms, too, which is going to also go into the sauce. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, one sauce. Both sauces were made an hour ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, save time for the show. And one sauce we'll have with angel hair pasta. Okay. The other sauce, I give you the option to have linguine noodles with it. Okay. Because the way it's made is called the catch of the day uh, seafood. So, uh, soup okay it was made uh it was invented or created back um about 50 60 years ago probably uh from fishermen in california and so what they did was they made a soup and the soup they made it was basically soup of the day whatever they caught that day that's what went into the soup mm -hmm. so if they called lobster they called cod and they called snapper those are the fish that actually went into the soup mm -hmm. okay along with some octopus along with um some scallops and everything else you can think of. Okay. Go. That sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, oh! Uh, <laughs> said the word. We all got a drink now, see? Mm, that sounds good. He's delicious. making me hungry. <laughs> I know. Because I haven't eaten anything. Okay, so since you all have not eaten, right? Let's do this. I'm going to give you a little starter. Okay. Thank you, Lord. And this is called what again? <laughs> this is a pink pineapple. It is okay. covered in tahini. And how, you know, I thought it was chicken. How did you get it? How did you get it? Chicken. I thought it was watermelon. How did you get it? How did you get it pink? I didn't get a pink. I, I bought it a pink. Chicken. Oh, you bought it pink? I bought a pink. It came from Wegmans. Oh, really? Are you saying Fresh out the sea. What? Okay. All right. So I am now going to start steaming your next appetizer. Hmm. Okay. What's on it? It's tahini sauce. You sprinkled something It's tahini. Oh, tahini. The seasoning. Yeah, seasoning. Mm. Right here. Mm. 
That was good. Yummy. Oh, who said good? I have that. Yummy. Did you say good? Somebody said good. I she said, said good. good. <laughs> we all got to drink again. Yeah. She said it. It's her fault. Mm. Mm. Keep saying. I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> he said, keep saying it. You don't have an ex you don't have to have an excuse to drink. You can drink whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so next thing on the list, I have another appetizer. Okay. And this is a caprice on a skewer. Yummy. Oh wow. Oh my god. That's so, for those in the foodie land, I'm going to show you what you're getting. The audience is now going to taste a caprice skewer. Okay. So, how many, please? Yes. Fresh You want to? Okay. Right. Look, you gonna make her that hurricane? She needs to. You gotta have the room for dinner. That's what I was thinking, Michelle. Right. Hey, some have meat on it. Some do. Can I have a prosciutto? Is that prosciutto? Yeah, I'm going to put prosciutto. No, it's um, um. It's some hard <laughs> salami. Thank you. Yeah, it's a hard salami, yes. I want one with the meat. Let's see. Oh, I want two. I'm sorry. Because I'm Really? We're being picky now? I'm just, I'll just take one. I'm just keeping it real. I'll just take mine because I want to see food. Because I'm ready. Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Any food yesterday? Oh, there's an olive on it, too. You fancy. We fancy, huh? We fancy, fancy, huh? Tasty. Yeah. I was about to say I had to catch myself. Meat delicious. Now, you said you wanted some meat? Mm -hmm. Okay, here mm. you go. Delicious. There you go. Mm. Now, that is delicious. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here mm -hmm. so you all can uh, share amongst yourselves. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want some more pineapple, let me know. Okay. And I'll put it. Oh, and it's called pink pineapple. Pink pineapple. Okay. Oh, I ain't never seen that in my Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. Michelle, what's all we going to be covering today? Let's start off with. Mm -hmm. We are going to discuss marriage, past and present. So when we say past and present, what are we talking about? We are talking about the traditional marriage. Baby boomers, people 50 years and older. Really? <laughs> okay. So who wants to start us off? So who, whose parents have been married for 50 years or more? Me, but I don't count. My grandparents. Why don't you count? I'm a chef. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> that counts, that counts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my parents. Ooh. My parents have been married for 54 years. That's wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Your mom is strong. Strong <laughs> woman. Listen, listen yes. right? Her mom, that, that marriage, to get the 54 years, she would tell her mother would tell you this, and I would fight for this man. Okay? That's what I was going right. to say. What are the and they got, yeah, so they, no, they got, um, they met, my dad was, um, Air Force, so uh -huh. he got stationed in her town, you know, oh, he was a local girl, mm -hmm. they got married after knowing each other, probably eight months, yeah, really? <laughs> so they, I mean, to me that's amazing, like, they, they went into a, a commitment with less than a year of knowing each other, and have made it last, that's wonderful, so they were soulmates, I don't know, I'm not going to say that, wait, they're they're not not marriage, soulmates. Soulmates. What? You I mean, with but, the so really what is the soulmate? I mean, I know that's going a little bit off topic, but a soulmate, do you just have one in a lifetime? Mm -hmm. Or do you think maybe you could get two, three? I guess a soulmate is somebody you can carry with and you all, you know, can really like get along and everything. There's no argument. But, like she said, she wouldn't say that because they had to work. Yeah, they, they, they had, had to work. Right. Right. You got to put, it's no marriage. I'm going to tell you, the work, marriage is a full time job. Right. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And, and I have, have to work. And have. both people not working, giving a hundred percent, it's not. Yeah, I think so. That's you got to work. You got to work through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And mm -hmm. you want to have good, bad, and ugly. Right. Yep. So somebody said they have a perfect marriage. They lying. Oh, that's <laughs> that's they lying. I agree. They no, they lying. They lying. They lying. They definitely lying. <laughs> I, I think marriage is more than a full-time job. It's full-time and part-time. I don't know about part-time. I mean, like, it's more. I think marriage is like. Well, when you say you don't hit second marriage, I didn't know you was the wife. Right. Okay. Yes, okay. And you working it? I'm working it. <laughs> so, so this is my opportunity to shine. Shine, 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 shine. 
I think I marriage is like the person. You're not always perfect. That's true. And a lot of times you're jacked up. That's true. But, <laughs> but the key to the person is to try to find yourself and not give up on yourself. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's a choice. You have to love it. It's a daily choice. More important, the center of the person is the core of the person we would agree. Mm -hmm. And if there's good at the core, then there's an opportunity to excel mm -hmm. in failure or after failure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But don't give up on yourself. Yeah. So, right. so, ask this. Sure. In finding yourself, do you feel like majority of yourself should be found prior to committing to somebody in marriage? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I think the key to life is to know thyself. Yes. And uh, that's a whole journey. Mm -hmm. You don't just start in marriage. And you start at birth, obviously. Right. But it's a whole journey. Absolutely. However, and I'll have to another point, drink after that. But <laughs> I think we all need another drink after that. I don't that. think. I don't think. Um, I don't think we want to get. We we'll all take a drink now. Really? But but, well, but marriage yeah, right. is the person. But but, but 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 to your point, Michelle, if our grandparents and some of our parents got married okay. super young, okay. right? Mm -hmm. They didn't know themselves. No, they didn't. They, they didn't. were still learning they who they, they were, mm -hmm. and they were still they growing. Pressed through. Right, they, they pushed yes, through. They pushed they through. Pressed but, through. but I will say this: my father is a def definitely a very traditional. You know, he's seventy-five this year. He, they, he's a.